in your mind's eye a production of Spartacus is very raw, gritty, dirty looking, lots of natural fibres in kind of a, a broken down state. That's certainly not what the designs for this production are like. They're very strong and they're very assured in their design aesthetic. So I think it is going to be quite a different look from our original Spartacus that we have. And I think that's really exciting, both for our team and for the audiences. For me, I don't start, uh, when I'm designing a ballet, I'm always thinking, I don't want to do something with my style. I don't think about that. I'm just thinking uh, what I would like to see as, a, as an audience, you know. I think everything, the, con the concept is yes, really clear now because we work a lot uh, together with Lucas. He came to France, uh, it was uh, last summer, and we started to work then. And uh, after we, stayed, we were in touch by mail and uh, share ideas, and I sent in photos of the draft set model and also the sketches. And my, my, my work is to make the choreographer happy, you know. This is that, you know. And uh, so, not it's not always the question to say yes to what he wants uh, always, you know, it's just to propose something, it will make happy, to surprise him. As I say, you know, a relation between a designer and a choreographer or a director, it's always a bit like a, a love affair, you know. Some designers want to choose the thread colour and every button and every aspect of the costume they want to see before it's made into the finished product. Whereas other designers, which Jerome is a bit more like, he has an overarching look that he wants to achieve, but he's willing to take and interested in what the cutter comes up with in regards to cut or um, construction. You're being the interpreter. So you, you start with a drawing and obviously you see certain things. I see some things that maybe other people wouldn't see or you're, you're sort of already anticipating the, the movement or how it's going to fit or how they're going to get in of it, into it, how they're going to get out of it. So for me, it's, uh, it's, you're really you know, translating someone's ideas and obviously the, the, the more clear they are about articulating what exactly that is, the quicker I can make that happen. When you do enable a creative team, a team of very talented individuals to come together and focus on a common goal and get the job done well, it's incredibly satisfying and um, a very humbling experience. I think a, a nice, a good ballet or a good performance or a good opera is when it's a total, you know, uh, mood between, you know, choreography, music, sets. I think, you know, I think it's better when everything fits all together. So, uh, it's not always so good when people say, oh, beautiful set, beautiful costume. I don't care in a way, you know. I think the most important thing is just what a great ballet, you know.